Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Round the Fire with Mota Mosby. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about a challenge that I have re- recently started and it is a pure carnivore challenge. And the difference between this version of carnivore that I am going to start, I have actually started three days ago, and my normal carnivore diet is that I'm going to be more restrictive and I will explain about how restrictive it is and how it is different from the past and what my motivation is for doing that. Well, one of them, well, my diet now, these last three days, and this is going to uh, continue for 30 days, except for one day that I am invited to a birthday party. I'm going to eat only meat so my food is going to be compro- comprised of uh, four basic elements which are meat salt water and fire so the old ancient um, basic elements as we know them and also electrolytes because i am one of those people who needs electrolytes supplementation to feel better uh, on a low carb diet and it's really, I, I can really see the difference. I mean, when I was keto, I didn't use electrolytes. I ate a lot of salt. And then when I started car- started supplementation with electrolytes, I was already a carnivore. Maybe it was in my transition to carnivore. So I didn't see a difference. I mean, I didn't measure anything to see if there is a difference between my electrolyte supplementation before or after going carnivore. But some people feel a decreased need to um, take supplements for that or use a lot of sodium, salt, and on carnivore, there are people who can go without salt. I am not one of them. Uh, so I'm going to use electrolytes liberally. Well, my cheap source of food and something that I ate every day, 6 to 12, maybe even more, uh, 6 to 12 eggs every day. And I'm not going to have that anymore because I'm going to eat only beef. What I'm going to replace it with is actually burgers, which are basically ground beef. And I know that they don't have any additives and they have a reasonable price. They are not going to end up as cheap as eggs, but they are good enough. The other thing, and that is a big challenge for me, is not to drink tea or coffee. Being an Iranian, so drinking, not drinking tea is going to be difficult. And coffee is actually something that makes me understand addicts. Um, I, I really can get addicted to it, but over the last four months or so, I could control my relationship. I have changed my relationship with coffee, so I have had much success in that. And, well tea green tea or black tea it was something that i drank liberally almost liberally i mean if i drink too much uh, black tea it will irritate my stomach i would feel bad and i would feel like throwing up and it makes me hungry too quickly and also it makes me lose too much electrolyte and I thought that it was going to be a huge challenge and it is not as big as I thought. I can go through my days only with water and sparkling water is is going to be my bonus. For example, after the gym, it's going to be my soda or my alcohol. So it's going to be a huge treat. It's very, I find, find it very refreshing. Maybe everyone does so. And this is another difference. So I thought that it's going to take some days, but I could do it from the beginning. Um, And the other thing is that there is not going to be any dairy. Sometimes, every once in a while, I drank kefir or kefir. And also 
I fried my eggs with butter and I cooked my steak sometimes with butter and not, I'm not going to use that at all either. So I've been feeling good on this uh, diet and I've been exercising almost every day. Uh, I mean, not every day of the week, but I exercise four days and they are uh, consecutive days. So on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and uh, Thursday. Um, every day I have a combat class, for example, MMA, Muay Thai, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, with Gi, without Gi. And on one other day of the week I also uh, do resistance training or maybe even more. When I was keto, so I could see that I had improved a lot and I could build muscle better. I didn't get tired that easily and also uh, I recovered very fast. My recovery rate was really quick. When I turned carnivore it really boosted a lot, it increased a lot and I didn't have a difficulty doing all these exercises every day. Especially in the summer I'm really good when I take some sun like I don't know, maybe I'm a plant, a meat-eating plant, and I do photosynthesis and kind of helps me. I guess this, this is my hypothesis, this is my pet hypothesis, that maybe vitamin D or sun exposure helps with recovery. And I want to see how my recovery improves. And one of the people that... Uh, motivated me to do do so was Dr. Anthony Chafee, who talks about his and talks about how he doesn't he cannot get sore after exercise and once he challenged himself and he did so many exercises so long hours of extensive exercise um, but when he drank coffee with a friend his body started to get sore. So that's why I'm eliminating things to this level. I want to see how much this is going to improve. And I have heard accounts of different people that f felt better over uh, on a carnivore on a pure carnivore diet generally. So I want to see how the next level looks like. There have been days that I've been pure carnivore maybe i have drunk tea or coffee i don't think there has been any day without them recently in my life i mean for many years i didn't drink uh, tea it was just a challenge uh, that i took up but um, when i st uh, started drinking tea and uh, coffee um, some years ago I don't think there was a day that I didn't drink either of them or I didn't drink something. And when I turned keto, maybe I just drank tea, coffee, I mean different types of tea and coffee because I didn't drink soda. So these things were on the only things that I drank and I'm not going to drink them either. Um, so I'm going to see how it's going to affect me and the result is going to be. I'm excited to know how the results are going to be and I'm going to share the results with you too. Have a great day or night or whatever. See you later.